many features that date back to 1712. And probably the features that best illustrate this are the structure of the period one house. What we can see exposed in this room. Um, what we have here is a flared corner post, an end tie beam, and a rising brace. All of this is part of the original 1712 structure. And if we look carefully at this, what we'll notice is that the corners here have a chamfering to them. And not just that, but this chamfer terminates in a lamb's tongue stop here. What this tells us about the house is that this frame was intended to be seen by the people that lived within it, the people that occupied the space. It wasn't intended to be hidden behind plaster finishes. And this exposed frame is a characteristic detail of English post-medieval architecture, or what we call first period architecture here in New England. The entire frame of the house is fabricated uh, in oak. And so these timbers were originally much larger oak trees that were felled and then reduced down by hand using hewing axes, adds, things of that nature in order to finish the timber off, square it up in some instances, and turn it from essentially a log into a, a building timber. As I said, much of the period one house was lost during the uh, enlargement process, during the period two construction. But other elements remain. Many of these we can't see, such as uh, secondary framing members, joists hidden behind the ceiling up here. But elsewhere scattered throughout the house, are some remaining features that date back to 1712. We have a good door architrave. And downstairs, we have a beautiful two-panel door that still remains in place. <laughs>